So just uh, here at Shell Recharge in Chertsey in the UK and we're going to try charging my Tesla. Yeah, so charging port is open and what I have to use is the adapter here that allows me to plug the Tesla connector and then what I have to do is it's ready so I just have to open this app and say I'm at Chertsey Road and I want to start charging uh, maximum charge speed let me see which socket do I want I want the Chatamo one and I've got the payment details I should be able to start charging uh, we want to leave maybe at 415 yes so I want to start charging okay it's taking me off to give the payment information uh, so I'm gonna use okay I agree to terms and conditions I have to put in my three digit security number I'm going to initiate payment okay now I should be able to then just take this Chadamo cable which is this one here to connect okay and all right then it's a case of plugging it into this okay thank you so it's just a case of then and it should be charging uh, does the car show charging when you look in the dash oh you press start uh, start Charge. Okay, so now this car is charging at a petrol station while those people are over there are filling up their internal combustion engines or their fuel tanks with petrol or diesel. We're charging electricity at a Shell recharge facility here in Chertsey. So we're going to go in, we're going to come over and say hello, what are, you, what are your thoughts about? And remember, there's that guy again who uh, had blocked us in earlier, so uh, the SUV. Oh yeah, 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 that was the amazing thing. Uh, when we came in with this thing, there's one EV station, there are uh, 10 petrol pumps, one EV station, and the entrance of the EV station is stand back, so two it's, SUVs. Yeah, hmm. yeah so, uh, so that, that's really interesting in terms of the fact that people come and courtesy aren't even thinking that anybody would even, why would anybody come to a petrol station to charge a vehicle, uh, an electric car, so they're thinking nobody's ever going to use it, right? So no. that's why they're just... At my work at Eastbourne Station, so I work at Eastbourne Walk-In Centre, and in the car park outside the station, there are, I think there's four EV parking bays, and they are never filled with EVs. There are par other people park there, which is a great shame, because, it, you know, it discourages people to invest in EVs to come into work. So maybe if they uh, have more of these, uh, one day we might have a situation where a Shell petrol station or any petrol station, you have the reverse, that you have one place where you can fill up your tank with uh, uh, petrol or diesel and the majority of those uh, stations are actually rapid charge points so this is a rapid charge point it should be uh, probably it looks like it says it's going to be in 15 minutes it'll be completely full so I'm paying for this one the Tesla supercharger it didn't cost us anything so um, we're going to go in and grab a coffee um, and we'll update you later on. Um, so what are your thoughts on, how, was this easy or difficult? This was really, really easy. I mean, I was watching Manish. The only thing that was hard uh, was that we just had to do a little bit of preparatory stuff because we're renting it for the day. One of the lovely things about this is that after we've just finished recording this section, we just pick everything up and we just go for a cup of tea. We don't need to stay with this. It's like the Tesla, sup Tesla supercharger. And that's very different to the experience of the people at the pumps where you have to stand there and fill things up yourself. Yeah. So it's going to take a little bit of time. That's hopefully going to improve as the next iterations come along. What's that noise? That's just charging up. I'm worried about the noise. There's also okay. some new things today. The noise is one. Yes. Okay, great.